Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Black Ops 4 video. A few days ago, it was revealed that they were planning to revamp the black market within this game. We didn't really have any details, but we knew they were going to be revamping it in one way or another. Well, today we finally got some details on exactly what is going to change. We know what is changing, what is going to be added, and when it's going to be added, and we're going to be covering all of that here in today's video. But before we go any further, I want to apologize for my voice more so than normal. Horrible head cold. Horrible head cold. This is like my fourth attempt at making this video, but it's some pretty interesting news, and I definitely want to cover it, so I'm going to push forward here. It turns out that on November 12th, a number of big changes are going to be made, which are essentially going to turn reserve cases in Black Ops 4 into a currency for earning other content that you may want. You can still open your reserve cases if you want to, but it's better to save them up because of all these things that they're going to be adding. The biggest change is going to be the addition of the Pick a Weapon Bribe Bundle. What this will do is, in exchange for 50 reserve cases, you can unlock a weapon or weapon variant of your choice from a crate that will come with two other reserve items, and then you also get five duplicate protected crates on top of that. This is basically going to be their solution for letting players earn the content that they want. You save up your reserve cases, you get this bribe, and then from that bribe you can pick any weapon or any weapon variant in the game to unlock. So you can kind of directly earn it, but you have to earn it by unlocking those reserve cases which you get for playing the game. On top of that, they're also going to be adding something called a reserves stack in the black market. And what the stack will do is it's going to show you an item that you don't already own, and if you want that item, you can trade in two reserve cases for it and then just unlock the item forever. They're also going to be updating the My Deals section of the black market market to only show you items that you don't own, and you're now going to have the option to buy those items with reserve cases instead of just COD points like it was before. That pretty much does it for all the changes that are going to be coming. It's a lot like the salvage system that we saw back in Modern Warfare Remastered, except instead of salvage, it's going to be reserve cases. And of course, in Black Ops 4, you get reserve cases for doing pretty much everything. Contracts and tier skips and things like that. I've got to say, I'm a bit disappointed by this. I mean, it's a good system. Like, on paper, it sounds pretty good, but I was hoping to unlock weapons and weapon variants by doing challenges for them. Like, that, that seems pretty cool to me, but instead of that, we're going to be doing different kinds of challenges in the form of contracts, and then from those contracts, we're going to be getting reserve cases, and then saving up those reserve cases to then unlock the weapons that we want. I mean, it definitely could be worse. I do like the fact that they're going to be making it so black market items, like weapon variants and blackout characters and skins, are going to be able to be purchasable with reserve cases as well, and because we're in the final operation for Black Ops 4, every Every tier past 50 is going to give you a case. You can get two tier skips per day, so there's two cases right there on top of the contracts and blackout multiplayer and zombies. So I suppose it really shouldn't take us that long to unlock most of the weapons that we're missing if we actually play the game and do our contracts and actually get the reserve cases themselves. One tip I would like to give you guys is even if you don't like playing zombies all that much, doing the daily as well as the contracts over there is a great source of reserve cases. I would occasionally here on the channel do this thing where I would save up like 100 reserve cases and it'd only take me I don't even know, maybe like five or six days or something like that, and then from there, I'd open them all up and then calculate the odds and see just how bad the supply drop rates were for weapons and variants and things like that. Well, the reason why I got those so quickly is because I was playing zombies every single day, and I get that zombies isn't for everybody, but it may take you somewhere from like 25 to 30 minutes to get all the way up to round 20 and do a couple of contracts in the process. It's a great source of cases. If you really want those multiplayer weapons, try playing out the entire game. Don't just play multiplayer. Hop in the blackout. Do a couple of easy contracts, hop in the zombies, do a couple of easy contracts there, and sooner rather than later, you're going to have enough saved up to actually be able to get the weapons that you want when this update actually goes live. Remember that the update does not come out until November 12th, and so that means at the time this video being recorded, you have eight days to start saving up your cases, because that way, you'll be able to get the pick a weapon bribe as soon as it comes out, and get whatever weapon or whatever variant it is you want, along with a bunch of duplicate protected crates. But, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Those are the updates that are going to be coming to Black Black Ops 4 in the very near future. I apologize once again for being so sick. It is... Oh, it's awful. It is so freaking bad. But I want to make this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback on this new system down there in the comments. Thank you all so much for listening. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.